This is a little good morning surprise. I wanted you to see this cute little squirrel. Inside this house. Isn't that cute? Hey baby, what you doing? I'm not that close to him, obviously, but. And then, oh, I scared off the little finch. Look at that little cutie. Just sitting there eating a squirrel in a blue house. A squirrel in a blue house. You're so cute. And we have a squirrel down here. Where are you? There you are. There you are. Let's see what else we have. Oh, Zippy. Zippy? What are you looking at? Are the skunk oh, there's somebody in there. Zippy? Are the skunks in there? You're always looking in there. No, I think there's a squirrel in there. There's a squirrel there. I'm sure there's a squirrel down there, and we're not going to get any birds as long as I'm standing up. In fact, I chased the little squirrel off because I kicked the stool. There's Blue Jay. Hey, little buddy. Grab your seed. Look at you. Ah, so glad I got to see you on the camera. All right, you know, I have to catch the action when it's there. And <clears throat> I wanted to give you a good morning message. And the good morning message is stand up for truth whenever you can. I got challenged by someone because they didn't want to lose readers by not reading outside writings from the scripture. Well, you can read outside writings from the scripture, why, but why broadcast it and spread falsehood around the world for everyone to hear? And, they re and you read it like it's truth, and it's not truth. We have our scriptures. And if you're looking outside of the scriptures for some secret knowledge it's not there we have all that we need you know, we're not supposed to dive into the secrets of the universe we're not supposed to mess with dark knowledge that is evil and Yahushua Yahush is going to come and burn this planet and destroy the evil. And the only ones left behind are the ones who have not defiled themselves with other religions. When he said those who are innocent and virgin, he's talking about, not virgin, but he's talking about being mixing your truth and with and knowledge with outside writings that's witchcraft you don't need anything else actually you don't need anything except the Torah that's all you need Yahushua came as the living Torah and we can read the scriptures of truth about the life of the apostles and what the apostles had to say how to live our life but if you're looking outside of that you're playing with danger remember what happened to the the sons of the priest 
they were so excited during this one of the celebrations and the giving of the commandments that they grabbed strange fire and put it in their incense burners that they were not told to do and they were struck down immediately and that was a warning to us don't mess with it don't say don't look to the world and say how do you worship your Elohim he's told us all we need to know how to worship him worship him in truth and in spirit hallelujah praise the most high Yahushua HaMashiach hallelujah hallelujah see the squirrel standing up to praise him even the squirrels know. Shalom, my beloved family.